Okay, so we are at uh, Canoe Lake. This is day one of our trip. And we're starting off somewhat late. It is, oh, probably like one o'clock or something. And we've got about an hour on this lake before our first portage. So we're gonna get going. So we're just going down this little stream and uh, we were just able to bypass a whole 165, oh, freaking fly was biting me. Um, bugs haven't actually been too bad, that was actually the first one. Um, yeah, we were just able to bypass a whole uh, portage, that was nice, 165 meters we avoided by just getting ourselves a little wet. And now we're just going through here, and this is really beautiful. Okay, we're just at the end of our cheating portage. <laughs> we didn't feel like portaging around this, so we're walking through it. But hey, that was a 435 meter portage, which would have been a little bit difficult. This is actually not being that easy, but I think I'm going to get myself some shoes like Dave's. But, look, we even get to see some pretty flowers here. Look at that. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, you see, we were not the only ones to do that. Actually, we gave them the idea. Somehow they got faster than us. Okay, so keeping with the spirit of not wanting to portage, we just walked up that river, up those little falls, and we are going to canoe into this lake. We hope it's the right lake. Hope being the key word, because we're a little lost by now. Okay, if not, we're going to have to <laughs> come right back down. It's probably easier on the way down. Okay, so it's Friday morning, August 5th. And it's about 8.30, and uh, I've already packed up my stuff. Dave is still in the tent. Say good morning, Dave. Good morning. Okay, so Dave's in the tent there. This is where we ended up camping out. Uh, it's really bright. Um, got the canoe there. Just put our bags out, because they got a little wet yesterday in the canoes. So, just while we're making breakfast and starting to pack up other stuff, I've just put the bags out here um, to start drying the, uh, the inside because that's what got wet. Dave's uh, rain cover over there, drying out. It's not even really wet, it's just dew. Um, our fire, the wood somebody left us, which was pretty much all rotten, but we were able to get some pieces out of it. And I've got my water bags hanging so I can start making breakfast. Our bear bags are still up there, so I have to take it down. It's tied to that tree there. So get it down and start making breakfast. And it's really sunny, really bright, and really beautiful. I almost feel like going for a swim. But maybe we'll do that at the end of the day if we get a good start and get to a campsite in time. So I've been doing this last night. Dave's chilling out, literally. It's really hot. So 
we've just come to the portage that goes from Burnt Island Lake to Jay Lake. Our first portage for today. Say hi, Dave. And uh, we just brought the canoe up. We've got my pack here and Dave's pack there. And my life jacket and paddle here. So it is now, let's look at this, 12, 26. So let's see how long it takes us to do this uh, portage. It's a 680 meter. We're going to try to do a single carry. So we're in the middle of our portage. It is 103. It was 1227 when we started. We started it as yeah. We started it as a double carry, but as a I mean as a single carry, but uh, we just came up from here. If you can see down, 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 and when we got here, where we have the pack, I mean the canoe, we saw that it keeps going up up and up. So we left the canoe here. Our packs are already on the other side. So it's just a case of getting the canoe up. And then after that hill, there's a little bit of a downhill and then another little bit of an uphill and then it's all the way downhill. So it should be okay. We've taken half an hour so far, just a little over half an hour, but we gave ourselves 90 minutes for it. So we should be okay. So we've arrived at Jay Lake, finished our portage. You can just see the sign on that tree there on the, on the side, faces the lake. Um, we've got the canoe here. Our packs are just up there. The one on the left is not ours, the lime green one. So somebody else is doing a double carry. So those are our packs there. And uh, it is now, let's look at the time here. Oh, mosquitoes bugging me already. It is uh, 1.15. So it took us less than an hour actually. And we gave ourselves an hour and a half. I was just across the lake. You can see some people there. And according to the map, there are no campsites. So even though I don't see a yellow portage sign, I'm going to guess that's oh, a, a portage sign. I can see it right there. Oh, yeah. Duh. Nope. Oh, I'm not focusing. Okay. There we go. That's our next portage. So really, it's going to be like a, what, five minute paddle <laughs> cross? And then we got another portage. That one should be an easy one, so hopefully we can do a single carry. That's our... It's a really beautiful lake, actually. Nice little peaceful lake. This is Jay Lake. Okay, so we're here on Jay Lake. It's gotten a little bit darker, but... Uh, the sky's mostly blue. And uh, we're sitting down, relaxing a little bit. That was a hard portage on the other side canoe is up there and I'm making us some apple wool dark salad so I poured the dehydrated salad in there and uh, I put a mayo packet and a blue cheese dressing packet and now I'm just going to add um, six ounces of water and I'll show you what that looks like out of the six ounces of water and I'm just going to stir it around and then leave it for about 10 minutes and see how it is. So it should be, de should be rehydrated by then. I'm gonna mix all the uh, water and the dressing. It should be ready by now. I put it upside down so it would keep getting some um, 
Let's see. I don't know if I can open this with only one hand. Can you open it? Teamwork. Thank you. I'll put that down. Let's see how it looks. Oh. Looks uh, actually very good. So, uh, we're going to try out our apple Waldorf salad and see how it goes. So this is Tree Frog Lake, and apparently it's called that because it's shaped like a tree frog. You can't really see the end and the beginning from this side. You could from across there, which was our portage we just came from. We just came from there. Pretty much just paddled for like, well, like five minutes and came here. So now we have our last portage of the day from Tree Frog Lake to Sunbeam Lake. And it says 390 here on the poster. Kevin Kellen says it's 380 and the map says it's 460. So nobody agrees. I don't know why. Anyway, we hope we can do a single carry and it's now four o'clock. So hopefully by 4.30 we can be looking for a campsite, which is going to be our record. It's going to be our earliest ever, which will be really nice. Okay, so we are on Sunbeam Lake and we have found a campsite for the night. It is now 5.07 and uh, we found an island campsite, which is really great. There was a nicer one further down, but oh well. The beauty of this one is that our portage for tomorrow is right there. And uh, you can just see the yellow uh, paper there. And uh, it's not a very big island. Hmm, that's interesting. Got all these uh, spider webs on here. That looks kind of creepy, actually. Black. So, say hi Dave. Dave's done his uh, beautiful little chain knot here. I think it's called a daisy chain, and if it's not, that's what I call it. That's really cool, because you can just pull that there and the whole thing comes undone. Yet, it's very sturdy. So, this is the campsite. We're gonna come up here and really nice. We have a spot. We've already said this is going to be for our tent because it looks like I think everybody always uses it because it's as such because it's pretty flat there and worn out. So we'll be up high. Dave's already left his bag right there so he can set up a tent. On this side we have the fire pit. It's got a nice bench. A uh, nice other little bench there. <laughs> it's even got a nice place to hang up stuff and Dave's hung up the water for me there and that's perfect because that way I'm not going to get resin on the bag like I did yesterday. Fire pit. Somebody's left a can in there which is really too bad. Uh, somebody left kindling which is really nice. So Dave's uh, experience with, uh, with island campsites is uh, the last time he was in Algonquin, when he was, not the last time, but when he was here before. Uh, as he was leaving, there was a bear on the island. So, there's a bear. I think I'd want to find out now. Although I don't have my bear spray on me. Anyway, this looks like a really nice island. I'm hoping there are no bears here. Otherwise we're really too close for comfort. <laughs> 